All right, we're back solving wine terms, and we just finished solving champagne towers and finding the three loves in there, plus the bonus six points. Sweet. And the champagne saucer equals the same thing, God is sovereign. Awesome. Okay, so we are solving wine terms today. It's wine world day today. Awesome, we solved every champagne flute. We were solving this stuff. We solved all that. And we solved most of this. So you have the base, the stem, and the cup or bowl. Base and stem. Okay, this is fun. What else are we going to solve? Oh, the love of one. Right. The cork. That's easy. Fruit wines. Elderberries. That's an easy. That's an easiest three fest. Wow. So fruit wines and elderberries both divide by twelve. And even the scientific name divides by three. Okay, I'm I'm smart, about to reach my limits here, but we're, let's stick with big words. Glossary of wine terms. I might dig back in that. International organization of wine, of vine and wine. Even that divides by three. Add that to the party. <laughs> That's screamingly high. Mm. <laughs> third prime times the square of third prime. Of course it's based in Paris, because Paris divides by three. Containing love. Eighteen seventy four, that's too cool. Oh yeah, oak wine barrels, of course, because oak is 27. Well, that's obvious. Wow. So oak wine barrels. Wow. 153, that's... Wow. And they're even stacked in threes. One, two, three. One, two, three. Like, how cool is that? Ah, the sovereignty of God, eh? Isn't it interesting? Oak barrels. Uh, the word wine, of course, but oak barrels. And then you can say wood oak barrels, and that just pushes you high. That's so obvious. Oak wine is used in wine meat. Where'd it go? Cool. 